Hi, my name is Eric Pravoslow. I'm one of the Komodo developers at ActiveState. Today I'm going to show you some of the new features we've put into Komodo 4.3, specifically for Ruby on Rails 2.0 support. So I'm going to get going, creating a project based on the Rails template. I have a directory already prepared here. We'll call it MovieLib because it's going to be a library of DTDs we have in our lending library, DVDs. I don't have SQLite installed on this machine, so I choose MySQL3, and you can see that Komodo has populated this directory with a Skeleton Rails app. I, as before, create a database. Now I can go right to a scaffold. I can give my movie. I can give the attributes in the movie model, which in this case is just a title, which is a string. I say OK. So I don't have to do a separate model or migration step this time. And then this is part of the new resource-based scaffolding in Rails. If you look at the files that it's generated, here's a full REST-based controller. Get, using get, post, put, the various HTTP primitives. Uh, it generated a migration as well. Speaking of which, I better run the migration, and it also generated the application or HTML, which I don't need right now, and some other RHTML files. I'll just take those out to make it smoother. And actually, at this point, I have an application that I can start up. Um, now, we actually would run Mongrel if it was installed. It's not installed on this machine. I'll then switch to Firefox hit the Webrick URL and create some new movies. So it's working. So there's, this isn't too different from the 1.0 support. One of the things we've put into Komodo is support for unit testing. And we actually, every time you create a Rails project, you get support, you get these five unit tests built in, generated, ready to run. So for example, there's a trivial model test. If I run that, you should see it pass. And there, it, it just gave me the uh, header from the uh, rake file command and then the test truth. Well, we can add some interesting validations to our model. We can require that the title field is already given and that every title is unique, for example. And then we can replace that test with a couple of tests that test our validations. So let's see. Now right there I used one of the features in the abbreviations. If you have a folder, and we ship these folders with 4.3, if you have a folder that has the same language in the abbreviations folder, then you type the name of a snippet. In this case, I type the DEF snippet. We automatically will insert the text of that snippet after you type, well, it's Command T on the Mac, Control T on Linux or Windows. So let's call this test present. And we create a new movie. Let's assert that it's not a valid movie. Give it a title, anything. Let's actually assume that we copied and pasted the code and didn't make the correction. We're going to run the test now. So again, we're just running these tests and we got a failure. So if we click there, expand this details window a bit we see that on line eight, false is not true. Well, we were asserting this to be true, we got false. So I'll correct that, and I'll add another test. The hit tab for that. Again, we just need some name. 
Uh, let's call this M1 because we're going to have two movies. Create M2. And assertions are cheap. So we can say that M1 is valid here. And it should be valid at this point too. Let's assume that, let's assert that uh, M2 is not valid. Then we can make it a SQL by adding a Roman numeral 2. Copy, whoops. And paste, remove that assertion, save the file, and we run this again. And this time we should see that everything passed, and it did. So similarly, we have a lot of controller tests. They live in the test functional section. Let's run those and see what happens. We got two failures. Let's have a look at them. You can click on the red button to go through. Um, and let's double click on this line because all of this is Rails internals. And we see a cert difference, movie count. Three was expected, but we got two. Well, we, I guess we're starting with two movies. We expected to add another movie. This is an a, um, assertion new to Rails 2.0. So if we were to add a new title, let's try that test now. And again, we're running, okay, so this one passed, but this one failed. Expected response to be a redirect. That was 200. Well, for this, we need to actually look at the code we were running. So we're calling the update method. Let's have a look at that. So I'm going to do interactive search with command I and then type just def update. And I can see here we hit the redirection that we were expecting, but we must have hit the false branch. So what I'm going to do here. Rather than take guesses, I'm just going to start the debugger up. And have a look at what's going on at that point. So here we are. We're on an error path. Let's look at the error in the movie object. There it is. So this is something Rails does. If there is an error in an object here, it will put the errors attribute on that object so that you can then write them in the flash, for example. And here we see title has already been taken. Well, let's go into the interactive shell and have a look at what's in our database. So we see two movies. The IDs aren't too meaningful, but the titles are both my string. Well, we didn't enter those. Where did those come from? And then I remember, right, we're running unit testing, so we're using the fixtures. Let's have a look at the fixtures file. Sure enough, there's the my string. If I make that a SQL, the good old rumor numeral two, stop the debugger, restart the unit tests, I'm expecting everything should pass. So this gives you a quick overview of how I can test this. I might as well just go into the browser and make sure everything is working the way I expect. I uh, hit it there. So if I try and create another new movie called Rocky, I got an error, the title has already been taken. If I delete that, create it, title can't be blank. Type in something else, and we got it, we now have two movies. But it's nice to be able to use the testing facilities in Rails and the integration with Komodo to verify that. Thank you very much, and uh, glad you joined us.